What's up, YouTube? This your boy Walter Brady, aka Walt. Um, I thank you for checking out this video. The title of this video will be the top five NBA perimeter defenders in the game. With this, I don't want you to think like I'm trying to shaft the LeBron James, um, the Artesses, the Battiers, and all them guys like that, like the White Howards and the Tyson Chandlers. But what I mean by perimeter defenders, you either got to be a point guard or a two. And, and with like LeBron James and um, Artes and Battier, there are four. So I really didn't include them in the list. I could easily um, could have did that, but I didn't want to. I just really want to stick to these guys in which people don't really know about. And they are perimeter players and defenders, obviously. But um, this is something I've really been wanting to do for a while. So I'm glad I was able to do it. Also, too, bear with me. It might be a little bit long. I try to keep it no more than 10 minutes. I'll do my best to try to get it over with. I'll provide examples of what I have seen and what I have studied. And um, let's get started. My, I'm going to start from five and then go to one. My um, fifth guy that I had to put on the list is Aaron Afalo. Um, I know a lot of people saying, Aaron Afalo, what do he do? I like Aaron Afalo a lot, man, because he's just – a guy in which a lot of people don't know and they really don't really understand how he play. So I'm gonna get, let's get to it. Aaron Afalo, key strength of the defender. He's more of a positional defender. Um, the list will go from four to one. I definitely show you the difference between him and then the others. Aaron Afalo utilizes position. He's gonna try to beat you to the spot and keep you in front. And as defense, you know all that you. That's all you really can do. You really you really can't. T you only can take some things away. From the offensive player, where Aaron to follow, you know what I mean. He's only six four, you know what I mean. He's he's a guy which he's not. He don't really get a lot of on ball steals. He's just a guy that you don't have to worry about. He's not a liability as a defender. He's just gonna be there on the catch. He's gonna contest you hard when you your shot go up, and he's not a punk. So what I mean by that, he's like two fifteen solid. So when you're going against the Cobes. And the Joe Johnsons, only reason them guys going to really get their shot off is because they're length, majority of the time, in my personal opinion. I feel like that strength is what really keeps him alive. And he can shoot the ball a little bit. He can score a little bit, but that's another topic. But his physical strength is what really keeps him able to hold his own. You're not really just going to bully him the whole game. You might have some episodes in which he's going against like a Joe Johnson that's like 6'8", 240. Of course, he got the advantage, but more times than not, he's going to be there. And he's very good at contesting shots. And I really like that about defenders. You got to be there. You got to contest hard every time. You can't just let the offensive player shoot over your hand every time. You got to at least be there every time on a shot. And that's pretty much it by Aaron Afalo. You know what I mean? He, it was tough to put him in his lift because this is not a very prized position in which guys really do well. You know what I mean? You see a lot of twos. They can just score and that's it. They're not the defenders. So, I definitely respect Aaron Afalo. If y'all remember that, they kind of start calling him the Kobe stopper maybe about maybe uh, maybe a year or two ago where he had a good um good war that he won against Kobe Bryant for that game. But Kobe Bryant still got off in the first round of the series, though. But moving on, number four, Thabo Cephalosha. You probably thinking, who, like, is you serious? Man, Thabo Cephalosha, this block right here and just watching him over the years – I really like this guy as a defender. I really do. You don't see you don't see that type of block a lot of times. Let's move on to um his key strength as a as a defender. His length. That's what makes him special. The dude is 6'7 with long arms. I don't know his wingspan, but with that length, he's gonna have a time a lot. He's gonna have many times where he's gonna win the battle. You know, I mean, he's going to win some battles against the Kobe's, the Joe Johnson's, um, you know what I mean, the Jason Terry's, them guys like that because his length, his length alone is really going to keep him alive as a defender. He's not overly big. He's kind of long at like 6'7", 215, but his length is really what makes him special as a defender. Good anticipation. If you've been watching these playoffs, you have, if you don't notice, he have had a lot of deflections. And that really gets me going when I watch a, a defender. Are you causing chaos? You know what I mean? Are you causing chaos? And I see a lot of times where he getting deflections, he's anticipating steals perfectly, 
And he's just a guy which he just caused a lot of chaos. He's not good as on um, the top two that I'll be naming later on, but he does a very good job of getting deflections. And what I mean by that is I watched him a couple times against Kobe, um, I think in maybe game well, they, they won at five. I think it was game maybe game game three where he has some good good stops. He has some rips against Kobe. I was looking like, wow, you never see that a lot because Kobe does a very good job of protecting the ball with his body, and Kobe usually use a lot of back-to-the-basket moves. But Dabo Cephalosha, man, very good anticipation, man. What I can say is no pass is ever safe with him. With that wingspan, that length, ain't nothing ever guaranteed when you're throwing a ball against somebody with long arms and that know how to use them. Dabo Cephalosha at 6'7 is an NBA two guard. People, he's not a four. He's a he's a shooting guard. He start alongside with Russell Westbrook. His versatility. Dabo Cephalosha can guard some point guards. He can guard some um twos. That's what he really excels at. And he can guard some threes. He have he can guard the mellows. He can guard the LeBron sometime. But through the course of the game, them guys probably will get the better end of them because they just so physically stronger than them. But when it comes to twos, he can make um he can make Dwayne Wade uncomfortable sometimes. Let me give y'all a quick point. With these guys, their job is only to make their job their job is to make the offensive player work. That's all they really want to do, make him work. And with his versatility, guarding the Tony Parker. Tony Parker had a good game, but he had some um battles in which he won. So First and foremost, with basketball, you got to live by percentages. You got to live with um, the battle and then the war concept. If somebody like a Kobe Bryant going against a Thibault Cephalosha, Kobe shoot about a good 45% for the game. Thibault Cephalosha at least want to keep him in the high 30s or below if he can. But more times than not, Kobe Bryant and them guys are so skilled, you got to live with that. If he can make Kobe Bryant take, you know what I'm saying? Lower percentage shots, he's winning. He's going to win the battle. But if Kobe's making, you know what I'm saying, 45% or better, he's not doing his job very well, even if he's contesting. So keep that in mind when you're looking at defenders. You These defenders, you don't want to necessarily, oh, he's getting killed or whatever. You can't necessarily say that. Moving on to my top three defender. I like this guy a lot, man. Avery Bradley, man, from um from Texas, man. I like Avery a lot. He's a guy in which he grew on me this year. Um, everybody should know his emergence. He emerged when um, Ray Allen got hurt, and he really has showcased he's a fair defender. Um, key scrimps as a defender. Man, lateral quickness by far. Avery Bradley's only like 6'2", but this guy will guard you 94 feet hard. I'm not meaning that he's running alongside of you. He's really making you turn. You know what I mean? I have clips of these guys showcasing their scrims. Um, that full court press is another get big scrim. That really irritates a point guard because over time, that tire them out because they utilizing so much effort to try to get the ball up court. And that's really throwing off your offensive plays that you want to run. And um, Avery Bradley's a great help side defender. Earlier this year, I remember he was tying his shoe and he got a steal against the Hawks. You know, I think it was the last... Um, couple games that he did he's very good at helping and getting back to um his defender and he's a great he got great athleticism what i mean by that is this guy can really run for days you know i mean he's very bouncy he's able to do a lot of things with that six two frame that a lot of guys can't do and um with that athleticism you've seen the monster block that he had on Dwayne Wade you've seen um the, the block, if you ain't seen the block that he had on Russell Westbrook earlier this year, he's a very good athlete, and that transcends on both ends of the floor. I definitely like him. He got the potential to do that for many years, and he's got a very bright future with the Celtics <clears throat> or Ray John Rondo. They're going to be a havoc. Um, number two, man, Iman Shumper, man. He he definitely grew on me this year, too. Once again, he he's a rookie alongside with – um. Avery Bradley, he, this guy's a menace. He's he's very good. And let's break down his scrims. Iman Shumpert, key scrims as a defender. Tenacity. This guy don't give a you know what. He's a guy that's going to come at you the whole game. 
You know what I mean? I watched this guy. He's his tenacity makes him special. Sometimes to get him in trouble because he do get ticky tack fouls, but more times than not, he's gonna get some, he's gonna win some battles because he's just so aggressive. And a lot of offensive players not very strong with the ball. Also with that tenacity, he have great hands. I'm talking about he had times where he just was just imposing his will on a Dwayne Wade. Great as Dwayne Wade is, he had his moments where he won some battles. Um, he whipped Dwayne Wade, excuse me, Dwayne Wade twice in back-to-back -back possessions. I'm looking like, wow, that don't happen a lot. Then he came back and got a deflection to um, to fuel the plate. So he had three defense possessions in which he caused havoc. He's a guy that's going to cause havoc. And also, too, with them great hands, he was ripping Derrick Rose when Derrick Rose came back when uh, Melo hit them big shots. He was ripping Derrick Rose. I'll never see Derrick Rose get ripped. And I understand Derrick Rose was coming back off an of injury, but that was incredible for me to see because the, uh, Iman Shumpert is 6'6", six, six, so he's, he's a two- but with that versatility, he can guard the ones, he can guard the twos, and he he can guard some some threes because he's physically big. He's a big guy. You know what I mean? He's six six by two twenty, solid. You're not really gonna punk him. He'll have his times guarding like a Joe Johnson uh, or somebody like a Paul Pierce because their games are slow. But if you think you just gonna out, you just gonna use your athleticism a lot against him, it ain't gonna work because he's just a bit as athletic as. You, he's a great help side defender too. He's not good as the number one guy that I'd be coming up, but he can definitely help and get back and contest because he got enough athleticism and leaping ability to um to to, to contest the shots. Excuse me, but moving on, he's got the potential to be the number one on ball defender. Moving on to number one, my favorite, Tony Allen. What can I say about this guy? This guy is a menace. He's a guy I really love a lot, man, because he is a Celtics. I am a Boston Celtics fan. I know some people don't like our team, but I got to roll with him, man. Tony Allen, key, key scrimps as a defender. Man, tenacity, grit, aggression, whatever you want to call it. Tony Allen is a crazy dude. I don't mean that to to diss him. He's a very guy that don't give you know what. He's like an Iman Shumper. He don't care if you Kobe, LeBron. He, they don't care. They really don't care. They got a screw loose, and that's how you got to be as a defender because these offensive guys got a lot of moves, a lot of craftiness. They, you got to be wired right to say, I don't care who you are. You're going to have to feel me. You're going to understand I'm going to be there right with you. Tony Allen got great hands. Tony Allen in one game this year against um L.A. at Staples, man, he had his battles with Kobe, and he won. He ripped um Kobe a couple times, in which I was like, wow. But it's not uh, – it's not – um. It's not really, it's not a surprise to me because he does, that's him. You know what I mean? He get a lot of deflection because he got great hand. You know what I mean? He gets steals, either helping or or on ball steals, in which that's what I'm looking for in the defense. I'm looking, can you get us extra possessions just by defense? Do I have to worry about you? Are you a liability? No. And Tony Allen's great at contesting shots. Tony Allen's great at helping and then getting back to his man and contesting hard and got a good chance to block the shot and that's amazing to me and let me wrap this up Tony Allen NBA first team this year I'm proud to say that because Doc Rivers really instilled in him to be a lockdown defender and that been carrying on since he left Boston 2008-2010 he was a big component to our team and I miss him but he's doing very good things with the Memphis Grizzlies and Tony Allen's an all purpose um defender he can help you um he can um defend his own he can hold his own he's just an overall great guy i'm sorry it took so long but it's difficult to get 15 minutes or just sit here and break these guys down but i will have the clips of them showcasing their defense ability and also definitely ride with me i got um my next video in which i just give you ways to improve your ball handling building with two balls if you like what you see, man, definitely rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm coming. Peace out.